Yo, it's the 9.7 WGCC. Um, what I just heard was Cake with Sheep Go to Heaven. It was the J Red Show on 9.7 The Music FM. Um, I know I said to talk about other sports, but I want to talk about the Buffalo Bills a bit more. I think the Bills are trying to keep the pressure off Allen as much as possible. Um, I wonder if Peterman and Allen will swap roles at the, to the, tomorrow. And, um, it sure wouldn't surprise me. Plus, there was nothing wrong with Allen work to hop Peterman and McCarron. That shouldn't be exactly a tough task for Allen if he's the guy who thinks he is. Um, definitely love what I see his throws. Um, at the day one, I saw a headline that read Allen is struggling or embarrassed himself. I don't recognize the URL, but I'm calling garbage. Uh, but that could be garbage, though. They outlined his two end of practice ducks and mentioned there were some good throws. I was expecting every missed throw to be overblown. So. Like I said, I can't really get excited or dread Josh Allen until I see him on the field, but. Gerardo Sonny had a good interview with Allen where they liked his. They, he likened his problem to golf analogy. When you swing slower, things tend to go to hell. So if something is he swerves and worth working on, he's getting his tempo right, I'm guessing you would rather have the, that be the problem than not having a big, deep play to potential. As a defensive coordinator, would you be more worried about a team who can't make deep throws or a team that throw those throws many, those screens, those dumb balls? Um, um, Allen's probably the worst of the quarterback in three at the moment, meaning his good throws are better than what McCarron and Peterman can do, but he's a raw and is going to have plenty of bad throws to adjust to. This is good to hear. Um, oh, this is, I think this is good to hear. You hear the bad stuff more than the good. An article over at Buffalo Lowdown focused on the fact he's happy to hear that the kid may have it. He still hopes to stick with him. I'm curious to know, but how has he performed under pressure? Um, I guess from the best and message board, so far so good. He seems to get out of it. Like I said, accuracy is my only complaint about Josh Allen. If, he, if, if B and McDermott can work on that, they will get, they'll give a hit. This shouldn't be, to be a tough task, though. Peterman has no competition at all. I understand he has some fans that just as Jeff Toole did. And I know a lot of people have been thinking, Tom Brady, we found him late. Why can't McCar why can't Peter be the next Tom Brady? But now that McCar um now that McCarron is but no, I don't think Peterman's the answer. Now McCarron. McCarron is a seasoned vet who has only played the NFL a couple games. To me, Allen should have met two conditions. Clearly better than AJ and Ray stood up to start. I think McDermott can handle one, but two scares me a bunch. Sean McDermott Crowley, Bean, and Double have no track record of developing a quarterback. To me, it, but to me, a track record is overrated. Sean McVay, who granted a young offensive mind, he never was the final way on Kirk Cousins of Washington, and he had Jake Gruden, and McVay did pretty good with, with Goff. What they do have is a track record of following course on the action of the COA. In the COA, they have dedicated to it, and it shows. The trades of and Hall, Arsenal, and trap picks show but they stayed at the COA and they got their guy. I believe they're in for the long haul. Um, if the Bills had not hired Kyle Shan as the quarterback development coach, the development would be something I would come up with confident in the Pagoulas went in the defense. If the, sorry. If the Pagoulas hadn't hired Kyle Shanahan, then quarterback development would be something I would be confident in the Pagoulas went defense again. So it comes down to McDermott, who hires the opposite side of the ball. So far, Denison, Castillo, and Curley have been more than uninspiring. However, he brought in the ball and admitted his mistakes. The ball comes with the compliments of Bill Belichick and Nick Saban, the greatest NFL coach and the greatest college coach. He did a good job for Saban last year. Unlike Don Sosdenes, I wisely support of the, of the, the Palo. But my expectations are he brings the Bills a sort of the, different version of Greg Roman. How he understands the quarterback position and complete unknown. If he happened to like, have that scale, that's a great hire. He used to coach in New England, which to me is, means game planning around your strengths. Tom Brady can't overly throw the deep ball like he used to because the father time is undefeated. What do the Patriots do? They run a ton of shallow crosses, and when he goes deep, it's almost always the seam route over the past, post corner, so he's throwing it straight down the field. The ball is anything like the Patriots. He'll be put in locations to win. Um, New England has approved to many coaches that flourish away from the bell check and cheating. 
based on the earliest reports, I think the ball is trying to build the Jaguars' offense. It's very true, and that's why I'm happy he, he was worked with Saban. Jacksonville is a very quarterback-friendly offense. I would also like to say I don't like that he is really Marone or Hackett running the team in Jacksonville. That team looks like Tom Coughlin. I expect this year to be 50-50. Run pass, but 15-20% of the passes will be quick screens to the gadget items that are really runs. So this will be all about power football um, and burst heavy running formations. Anything that's different last year will be pleasing. Let's give the throwback dinosaur offensive play call on to um, John Gruden. I love that I love the guy, but I can't see the way he's possibly believing in old style football as a real place in twenty eighteen. Anyway, that it seems that the bull has gone to try something modern. Try to use the whatever smarts as has a work hazard to fashion custom plans on a weekly basis. Hopefully with the constant in game from Justin. He has some new hey, some new coaches that will make a name for themselves this year. Let's hope the ball is one of them. Um the ball was schooled in the Ron Everett offensive philosophy. The latest deterioration of that offense was one was the one Josh McDaniels running in New England. Nick Saban set up a bunch of five star offensive line of running back recruits, and the ball choice of run power over a scheme in Alabama. That means he adopted the scheme to personnel, and he doesn't mean he's the offensive philosophy. The proof at the moment is that Saban ba- ba- benched um, J- Jalen Hurts in the title game. The ball immediately started the opening of the playbook with a dual threat quarterback. Assuming it's the run servant because you hit. That's what you saw at Alabama. Um, I'll I'll take how how I'll go to take twelve year NFL vet Jim Miller's over Pat Corners to over Pat Corners whose last forty six years of football including coaching in the NFL front office. Worst break before yours. No offense. They spent thirty minutes breaking down the Earhart offense on radio, as projected, which adapts to if the ball would be running Buffalo. I keep looking at the Jeff is the Magic Wikipedia page, but I can't seem to find it. Oh. So what are your thoughts on it? Hit me on Twitter at J Red Show. Um. I don't think the offense sucks at all. I mean, I I. Uh, it'll be a step back, and I might be the minority, but I'm not anticipating a drop off the, the offense last year. I think a person at all is better than most people think. So much is losing three stars in the offensive line, but I think it's way overblown. The truth is, Deion Dawkins played most of the year left tackle, not Glenn, and not unrealistic to think that our left tackle will, play, will be improved from last year because he is older, because he's a year older and wiser. Secondly, most Bills fans have been ridiculed on Vlad this case since he's gotten here. So those fans should expect much of a drop off at right guard, with John Miller being penciled into the season. With regard to the center position, I'm also expecting a significant drop off from Eric Wood, who whoever sends us starting, whether it's Gray or Bruno or Ed Redmond. The only player I'm anticipating is left guard, where Decrease is an inferior player to Richie. Th- they hit you at, then you, you add strength, seemingly rejuvenated cornerback qu- qu- to the passing game. Um. And a proven slot receiver at Carly, Zay Jones will likely not play worse than last year. Zay Jones will probably not will probably not play any worse than last year. I am fully expecting Zay Jones to have a bounce back year. I think John Murphy asked um who is going to be the Buffalo Bills um X factor. I think it's going to be Jones. We have an upgrade at a running back, to, the second running back in this position with Tolbert, and last but not least, we replace the soon to be extinct offensive mindedness and with the forward in Debol. Even before Allen starts the game, you are replacing the, uh, everyone on, on offensive. It's interesting with Glenn. The loss of Glenn will hit, we compa- will hit comparing the potential of 2018. Losing Richie and Kaido would really hit the comparison to 2017. Of course, it's, um, so what are your thoughts on the Buffalo Bills? Hit me on Twitter at JRed Show. I think there was one factor working in their favor here. Normally, a, a franchise quarterback walks into a desperate situation on the down on his luck franchise with an impatient and frustrated media and fan base. Morale in the locker room tends to be as low as roster as the recent losers, and it's decided rather than not they want to buy in what the brand new coach regime was. Nothing was under the bit of selling. The Bills of the franchise are a spot with the best spot they've been in since the 1990s. Fan and media pressure is already off because of what happened on New Year's Eve. 
The new coach is, took a cursed franchise into the playoffs. Um, I honestly question how much pressure the Bagulas would have placed on Allen right away. While none of us are happy with the losing record of any type of regression, we're not starting down the barrel of an 18-year-old playoff drought. So, what are your thoughts on the ball full of Bills? Do you think they'll be um, in the playoffs this year? Hit me on Twitter at JRedShow. When I come back, then I'll talk about other sports and the, fu the future of sports coming up next. But first, here is Just Like You by Three Days Grace. If you have a request, hit me on Twitter at JRedShow. And keep all to 9.7 The Music FM.